Hi, it's Dr. BCW. Let's talk about diabetes. I asked for your questions about diabetes and I received great responses. First question, what are the types of diabetes? Well, there are several types, but today I will focus on the most common types, prediabetes, type one, type two, and gestational diabetes. Prediabetes is when your blood sugars are elevated, but not high enough to be diagnosed with type two diabetes. It's one step before the diagnosis of diabetes. It's estimated that nearly 100 million people in America aged 18 or older have prediabetes. With type two diabetes, high blood sugar causes insulin resistance, preventing cells from absorbing or taking in glucose. This overworks the pancreas, eventually leading to insufficient insulin production. This results in glucose or sugar accumulating in the bloodstream, causing potential harm to your organs and increasing your risk of developing several diseases that affect your heart, kidneys, nerves, and eyes. I recently partnered with Health Unmuted on a podcast series focused on type 2 diabetes. If you want to learn more about all the facets of type 2 diabetes, I recommend checking it out. Unlike type 2 diabetes, which results from elevated blood sugar, type 1 diabetes is when your pancreas either doesn't make any insulin or doesn't make enough insulin to move sugar from your blood into your cells. Now, we don't know exactly what causes type 1, but it's thought that type 1 happens when the body starts attacking the pancreas by mistake. That's why we call type 1 diabetes an autoimmune disease. It's important to highlight that developing type 1 diabetes isn't linked to diet or exercise habits. Finally, gestational diabetes. It's a condition specifically associated with pregnancy. It is not pre-existing and it is distinct from type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Typically, it's screened for between the 24th and 28th week of pregnancy and is believed to be linked to pregnancy hormones. If you want to learn more, check out my recent article with She Knows where I discuss gestational diabetes and some of the concerns surrounding it, including inequities. I received a lot of questions. There will be more answers to come, so make sure to subscribe or follow to learn more. This is Dr. BCW. Thank you for watching Beyond Clinical Walls. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. If you found this information helpful, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.